First of all, we're starting with those who serve. 12 News is honoring a man who sacrificed a lot for his country. That's right. He fought in World War II, became a successful businessman, and yesterday he turned 100 years young. Yeah, we met Llewellyn Jenkins and his family at his home in Carefree to reminisce about his favorite memories over the past century. I remember the general being up where we were. The general was General George S. Patton back in World War II, one of the most successful U.S. field commanders of any war. But I have very often seen him and stood right alongside him up on the firing line. And you don't forget that with a guy like Patton. And Llewellyn Jenkins was in the Army in charge of coordinating artillery fire, who once had a close call with a German sniper. He put one right past my ear, just missed me by, his windows was off, that's what his trouble was. He was waiting, he didn't do it accurately, accurately. Llewellyn even met President Ronald Reagan. And there was a big bowl of jelly beans. Here. Even Llewellyn's eldest son, Tom, remembers one time when he called his dad. And as I called home to speak to my father, he had received a call from the White House, told the White House he would call back later that I took priority over the president calling from the White House. Which speaks to the kind of person Llewellyn is, loyal and a man of his word. After he served in World War II, he went on to become the president of the American Bankers Association in the 80s. I'm very proud of what he did with Chrysler Corporation, but every single thing business-wise that he's done has been because he and his industry is known as somebody whose word is good. And now he's reached a milestone, celebrating his 100th birthday, even getting cards and letters from Governor Ducey. Thank you. Wow. And Senator Martha McSally. Thank you, Martha. <laughs> but the best wishes were from his kids, grandchildren, and even great-grandchild. Yes, they are good-looking family. And what's cool, most of his family all live right near him, something they value and appreciate as they feel so blessed to still have Llewellyn in their lives. Yeah, it, it's pretty interesting at this point in life to still have my father with me. We've all been able to keep the family circle together, and we keep the communication open as well. Oh, Isn't he so precious? He is so <laughs> sharp for a hundred years old. He was remarkable and just so much fun yeah. to talk to. I love that. Thank you, Martha. I know. Thanks, Martha. <laughs> wow, the governor. Yeah, so cool. Well, yeah, because we're losing our, our World War II veterans. I, I was reading, reading a stat. You know, 16 million Americans served in World War II. Only 500,000 remain alive at yeah. this point. So, wow. so few. I mean, they're certainly a treasure, that's for yeah. sure. What a great story. Well, if you have a hero that you'd like to nominate to be a part of those who serve, you can call us. Here's our number, 602-444-1212, or send us an email to connect at 12news.com. All right, I have a